Hello everyone and welcome to Art of Cinema. Today's movie, Kill Bill. So, let's watch. Oh! Mother! Jesus! Oh my god! Let's cut! All right, let's jump into the synopsis of this film. A former assassin wrecks vengeance on the team of assassins who betrayed her. The first time I watched this movie was back in, uh, I would say about 2008. I was much younger then and would have a very different outlook on this movie. But luckily for everyone, I rewatched the movie recently and this is my more refined perspective uh, ref refined actually might not be the right word new perspective but either way i'm going to talk about the things i like and dislike about this film starting with the things that i like this movie has very beautiful set design and the way choose to show these sets or just the overall look of the movie is uh, fantastic really the team decided to play with color a lot in this film some scenes are in black and white there are scenes that take place basically only in tones of like blue the way the main character stands out during the final scenes by wearing a bright yellow jumpsuit I am sure we could go into a deep dive onto why these colors were chosen or get into what it all means, but I don't have the time. So instead, I will say that these choices are what I really like about the movie. They even throw in an animated sequence during the middle of the film that kind of ties into the manga art style. So the overall look is something I would consider to be great throughout the movie. The ending snow scene is gorgeous. Another thing that I think Tarantino does well in a lot of his movies is his sense of suspense. Throughout the movie, there are scenes where you know something is about to go down, but you are not sure when or what is going to happen. The scene in the very beginning of the movie where the bride is attempting to get her revenge upon one of her other assassins, and then the other assassin's child comes home is terrifying and adrenaline pumping. The suspense builds during the scene and you're on the edge of your seat just waiting for disaster. I mean, he really can do this well. Some of the things I don't like so much about this movie are it's really like the story is basically a revenge film, which is pretty simple overall. 
hunt down these people who done me wrong and kill them. I mean, not a very unique script. However, since it is a Tarantino movie, it does have his dialogue sprinkled all over. Which, for the most part, I do like his dialogue, although sometimes I feel like it can be a little pretentious. And in this movie, sometimes very abruptly out of like left field. Like when Lucy Liu's character is speaking after she like heads one of her associates, she is very calm and collected. Then at the end is cursing and screaming at the top of her lungs. It just doesn't land for me. It's way out in left field. With this basic story comes killing, and there is a lot of it. I mean, I like action movies, but some of the scenes in this movie are just so unrealistic. Well, I guess most action movies are like that, but it just doesn't land for me. Maybe for 17 year old me, but not so much now. I mean, when the bride is being attacked by the crazy 88, how does she basically leave the scenario almost completely unscathed? Even if she was this well-trained assassin, she should have probably died. I mean, I know it's an action movie, but come on. And during the action sequences, the choice to put in these very strange slow motion parts just looks unappealing. I think this was a very popular thing for its time, but man, they don't age well and kind of take me out of the fast paced, like fun action. Another thing that I didn't like about the action, I know I'm starting to rip on this a little too much, but it is an action movie, so the action better be fantastic. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Anyways, is that they do this crouching tiger type flying through the air when attacking in the crazy 88 scene. Ugh, I hate this unrealistic look that again, I know was probably pretty popular during the time. But just, I, I mean, I just think it looks stupid. Anyways, uh, let's let's transition over to some trivia. Uh, we have a special guest that came by, and uh, they would like to give us a trivia on uh, Kill Bill. So here is our special guest. Hello, it is I, world famous actress Uma Thurman, and I had nothing better to do, so I'm giving you trivia on Kill Bill for Art of Cinema. Let's begin. The shot where the bride splits a baseball in two with a samurai sword was done for real on the set. It was done by Zoe Bell. That was mine. Uma Thurman's stunt double. The bride's yellow outfit was inspired by the outfit worn by Bruce Lee in his final film, Game of Death. According to Quentin Tarantino and myself, Uma Thurman, in the DVD documentary, the idea for doing Kill Bill began during the filming of Pulp Fiction. We began talking about the kinds of movies that we like to do, and Quentin said he would like to do a 70s style kung fu flick. And I, Uma, came up with the film's opening shot of myself beaten up and wearing a wedding gown. Christopher Allen Nelson, who worked on the special effects, revealed in an interview that over 450 gallons of fake blood were used in the two Kill Bill movies. Despite 
being bleeped out in the film. The name of the bride is revealed on her plane tickets to Okinawa and Tokyo. Approximately 60,000 of the movie's budget was used on swords and sword accessories. Quentin Tarantino delayed the start of the production because I, again, Uma Thurman, was pregnant. And this has been Trivia from Kill Bill, brought to you by Uma Thurman, because I've had nothing to do this past year. Oh man, big shout out to Uma Thurman for coming on to my channel and helping me out with the trivia. Thanks so much, Uma. Well, Kill Bill is an adrenaline pumping, nonstop action movie that is definitely a fun watch. It's not my favorite action movie of all time, but you should check it out if you enjoy Tarantino films or you just love a lot of blood. It is available on HBO Max at the moment. And now for a rating. I would rate this movie a 74 out of 100. Let me know what you would rate it. And whether or not you like the movie or dislike the movie. Maybe tell me what your favorite scene was. I don't know. Just comment, I guess. Well, it looks like I'm wrapping up this piece, so let's move into some glamour shots. Well, normally I would uh, talk about the art, but I had a lot more to say about the movie this time around. Uh, but I do think that the art turned out well, and I'm really happy with the piece. Please let me know what you think. And if you have a movie suggestion for the next video, please write it down in the comments. And to help out this channel, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll be right here.